What is going on guys, Joshua, did you know that Scott Rao, who has authored many books like The Coffee Roasted Companion, The Professional Barista Handbook, said that he has gained way more in his first year with a coffee refractometer compared to his previous five. And in this video, we're going to show you how we started to use this tool to improve our coffee quality and even the consistency of the cup that we serve both on the cafe front and also at the back in the roastery. So stay tuned in this video, I'm going to show you how. So what is a refractometer? A refractometer measures the angle of light that passes through a particular liquid. It measures the total dissolved solid in a particular brewed coffee, also known as TDS. So the higher your TDS, the stronger your coffee, the lower your TDS, the weaker your coffee. So how does that translate? So say for example, you've pulled an espresso short shot, you've measured the, the liquid here, or the TDS and it shows you a reading of 10%. So that just means that 10% of your particular espresso is made up of coffee solubles while the other 90% are just water. That we've understand what TDS is, but knowing TDS alone will not be able to tell us how well or poorly our coffee is extracted. So we have to understand what is extraction. You've heard it, people say extraction all the time, but what is extraction? Extraction is basically the amount of coffee solubles that is extracted out of the coffee that you've used. Okay, so here's the extraction formula for those of you who want to know a little bit more about how extraction is in related or in relation to TDS. Extraction is basically extraction equals to the TDS, which is what you get from your coffee refractometer, multiplied by your amount of brewed coffee, meaning the amount of coffee that came out. So let's say, for example, if it is a espresso, it will be 36 grams, 40 grams, and so on, divided by the amount of dopes or the coffee input. So let's do a real life example. Let's say, for example, I brewed my cup of espresso and I've gotten a TDS of 11%. Now, I would measure the coffee output or the espresso output and let's say, for example, I got 36 grams, right? I would divide it by the amount of coffee that I've used input. So let's say I've gone for a 1 to 2 ratio. So this overview general formula is 18 grams of coffee used in. I've gotten 36 grams out. And I've got a reading from this refractometer of 11.5%. Now, if you do the math, little whatever, and let's say, for example, you've gotten 25%, which is a really high extraction. So it shows that this extraction or the extraction that you've gotten from that particular espresso is 25%. So you're probably now confused and you're wondering what is the difference between TDS and extraction? Well, let's talk about TDS. TDS is basically, if you look at this cup of espresso and if you get a 10% TDS, it just means 10% of this espresso liquid here are made out of coffee solubles, while the other 90% are just water, right? So TDS is always in relation to the cup of coffee that you've brewed. While extraction, here I have with me 10 grams of coffee beans. So say for example, you get a extraction of 20%. So it just means that you've extracted 20% of coffee out of this 10 grams of coffee beans. So extraction is always in relation to the amount of coffee you've used. Now, with all that being said, does it mean that a higher extraction usually gives you a better cup of coffee and a lower extraction gives you a bad cup of coffee? Not necessarily. You first have to judge and base upon the taste of the coffee first. So you would brew your cup of coffee, whatever. It could be an espresso. It could be a latte. It could even just be a filtered black coffee, right? And you've tasted it and you say that, hmm, I've gotten a very, very good cup of coffee now and I'm not sure why. I wonder why. Take the reading of the TDS using a coffee refractometer and measure the extraction. Once you've gotten both the TDS and extraction, it can now tell you that, hey, 11% TDS and 22% extraction from this particular coffee beans, assuming everything is constant, has given me a very, very good cup of coffee. So now I'm going to repeat it and Try to tweak one variable at a time to see if I can get an even better cup of coffee. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of unboxing. So this Dave Fluid, um, thanks so much for sending us uh, Dive Fluid app. Probably one of the nicest box we've seen. And out of the box, what you get is basically a spoon for you to basically scoop out for whatever your coffee brewed there. 
pretty nice spoon, a metal spoon, <clears throat> and this is the magic, right? The baby of it all. So the refractometer. You have one button. It's powered by USB-C. You can charge it. So far, we've been using it for a number of days now, and we don't have to charge it. So I think it retains this charge pretty well. And let's talk about the app that we have with us, right? So I have my Dfluid app here. And if you can see, it's right here. I have my refractometer. It auto pairs, right? And you can pair your scale right here too. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to take this cup of espresso that we've extracted previously, and we're going to try to measure it. So it has two settings here, pour over setting or the espresso setting. And now I've already input previously before this video, it showed that my dose and the number of coffee or the grams of coffee that I've used is 18 grams, right? 18 grams of coffee. And then my U is 36 grams. Of coffee. So now if I hit brew and it will show me a graph basically of how it looks like or where your quadrant is and you could input multiple results. Now before that, what you would do is um, take your um, uh, the metal spoon that you have with you in the espresso. It is try to stir it as much as possible and make sure it is at room temperature. Now, take that solid liquid or the espresso that you have, put it a little bit onto the refractometer, right? And now, if we do test, it's gonna test. It's gonna test an average of five, right? And it now shows us eleven point three four percent. So I can activate the testing mode on the app too by pressing this. And when I press this, I've already said that it will go to an average of five tests, right? So out of the average of five tests, I've gotten a extraction or a TDS of 11.31%. Now, if you look at this, the amazing thing about this app is it calculates the extraction for you. So you say 22.62. Now, if you look at this chart, it shows that we are in the upper right quadrant, right? But the more important thing is to look at the extraction and the TDS, and that will tell you how well your coffee is. Are you your coffee consistent? Do you need to change your grind size? Do you need to change something? Because your TDS, TDS is not hitting the mark. So this is a good indicator. So now that you know what a TDS does and how it can improve your coffee quality, go out and get yourself one. I've linked it down in the description below. Thank you so much, Dive Fluid or D Fluid for sending this out. They have an amazing, amazing product. The TDS used to cost a ton more, two to three times more than what it costs right now. And they've made it really affordable and easy even to now get yourself a refractometer. And if you see a cafe behind me, if you're interested to know how my setup has been and what I use and the equipments that I've used and the things that we've learned, head on to the next video and I'll see you there. Bye.